Hi guys, I'm going to show you a tool that's going to make monitoring your server a lot easier. It's called JVisual VM and what it does is it's a Java profiler and it's going to basically tell you exactly what Java is doing in terms of uh, CPU usage and um, memory usage. The way you go about getting JVisual VM is you just want to type in download Visual VM into a search engine or JVisual VM and it'll bring up the download link. Go ahead and click on that. So we're going to go for the most recent version, which is 1.3.7. I've already downloaded this, but you would just go ahead and click the link and proceed with the, uh, the download. Before we actually go about using the Visual VM software, we need, to get, we need to make sure that we have Java Development Kit. And if you already have Java Development Kit installed on your computer, then you're good to go. You can go ahead and skip this step. But for those of you who do not have it, uh, we want to go ahead and navigate to Java's download for the Java Development Kit and nav navigate to the version for the uh, operating system that you're using. Uh, in my case, I'm just using a 64-bit version of Windows. And then once you have it downloaded to your desktop or wherever you like, just double-click and run it and have it installed. Once it's installed, we can go ahead and actually open up visualvm.exe. And then um, I'll go to my test server here, and I'll just go ahead and run that in the background. What we'll see is that craftbucket.jar will show up under the local uh, tab. And if we double click on that, uh, it'll bring us up some information about this process. And so we can see the arguments that I've stated in my bat file that starts up the server, which states that there is a minimum of 512 megabytes of RAM and a maximum of 4 gigs. You can also see some system properties, although I don't think that'll be useful to most of you. Also, you have the monitor tab, which has a number of different stats that you can watch in real time. You have the threads tab, which tells you exactly what CPU threads your server is using. Then you get over to the sampler tab, and you can use either CPU or memory. You can see exactly what parts of the server are using however much CPU time or uh, memory allocation. And so if you have, like, a hideous uh, memory leak and your server just suddenly takes up 8 gigs of RAM for no obvious reason, which I've actually experienced before, you can go and see what, what's actually causing it, which is incredibly helpful. In most cases, when you're having an issue like that, the only other option is to just one by one remove a plugin, test it, okay, it didn't work, remove another plugin, test it. With this, you can just automatically see what's going on. It takes a lot of the diagnosing time out of running a server. And um, in general, I just highly recommend having it. You don't have to run it all the time, but if you're trying to diagnose a problem or just do some maintenance on your server, it's good to run every now and then just to make sure everything behind the scenes with your server is working properly. If you're the kind of person who wants to go deeper into this, there's an excellent amount of documentation on Visual VM. Uh, all you have to do is go to visualvm.java.net forward slash docindex.html and um, this is on the main Visual VM site, so it's really easy to find. Uh, you can go through and read as much of this as you want if you want to get into super in-depth, but none of this is really absolutely necessary. Just having the tool alone is a big time saver in itself. So yeah, in general, I, th I think for those of you guys who are seriously interested in running a server and making sure that the experience is as seamless as possible, this is probably gonna be a must-have. And if you guys have any questions or if I missed anything, Please just leave a comment or send me a message and I'd be happy to help. Alright, take care guys.